In this video, we're going to focus on drawing constitutional isomers. A constitutional isomer is basically a molecule that has the same chemical formula as another molecule, but have a different structure, different connectivity. So for example, how can we draw the constitutional isomer of, let's say, butane? Now we have four carbons in a straight chain. What we can do is take one of those carbons and put it in the middle. Now let's draw the structure. Butane is CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. If you're not sure how to get that, keep in mind carbon has, carbon likes to form four bonds. This carbon at the end is attached to one of the carbons, so it only has space for three bonds, which means that there's three hydrogens attached to it, since the total number of bonds has to be four. Now the carbon in the middle is attached to uh, two other carbon atoms, so it has two bonds, which means that we need to add two bonds to get to four. So the ones in the middle are CH2s, the ones at the end are methyl groups or CH3s. So this is the condensed structure of butane, which is C4H10. Now what about this one? So the carbons at the end are CH3s. Their primary carbons attached to only one of the carbons, so they have to have three hydrogens attached to them. Now the one in the middle, that's a tertiary hydrogen, it's attached to three of the carbon atoms. So it can only be bonded to one hydrogen so that it has four bonds. So if we draw the structure, we have a CH in the middle and three methyl groups attached to it. But notice that it has the same chemical formula, that is C4H10. It has four carbons, ten hydrogens. So as you can see, these two compounds are constitutional isomers. They have the same exact chemical formula, but the structure is different. The way the carbon atoms are connected is different. So now, in the remainder of this video, we're going to talk about how to draw the constitutional isomers of other alkanes. So for example, pentane. C5H12, how many different constitutional isomers can we draw for this molecule? So first, draw the structure as a straight-chained alkane. All five carbons in a straight chain, that's one constitutional isomer. Next, go down to four carbons, and then add the fifth carbon somewhere in the middle. You can't put it at the end, this is still pentane, it's the same as the first one. So you want to put it here, which is the same as putting it here. To tell if these two are identical or if they're different, you can name the compound. If we name this one, notice that we have a methyl group on carbon 2. So it's called 2-methylbutane, which has a total of 5 carbons. Now, to name the other one, we have to count in such a way that the methyl group is given the small number. So it's still on carbon 2. This is also known as 2-methylbutane. So those two compounds are identical. Therefore, these are the only two compounds that we can draw for C5H12. There's only two isomers. Actually, wait, there is another one. We can also do this. We can go down to three carbons and then just add two methyl groups on a middle carbon. So if we name it, because there's two methyl groups on carbon 2, it's called 2,2-dimethylpropane. If it has a different name, then it's a constitutional isomer. So there are f um, three constitutional isomers for pentane. Now what about C6H14? How many constitutional isomers can we draw for hexane? Well, let's begin with the straight chain alkane. So the first constitutional isomer that we can draw contains six carbons in a straight chain. Next, let's go down to five carbons. And let's put the six carbon in the middle. Don't put it at the end. This is hexane, and if you put it here, it's still hexane. So we can place it at carbon two, or we can place it at carbon three. If we place it on carbon four, it's the same as carbon two. These are identical. 
Both of them are known as 2-methylpentane. So these are the only two that we can draw where the parent chain has five carbons. Now let's go down to four carbons. We can put two methyl groups on carbon two, or we can put one on carbon two and the other on carbon three. Now we can't really go down to three carbons, because if we do, we need to add three more carbons and we can't do this. The carbon can't form five bonds. So I believe this is it, unless I'm missing something. So there are five constitutional isomers for hexane, at least that's how much I found. Now let's try heptane, C7H16. Now the more carbons you have, the more constitutional isomers you can draw. So let's see how much we could find with this one. Let's begin with the straight chain alkane. So that's a total of seven. Now let's go down to six. We can place a methyl group on carbon two. We can place one on carbon three. Or we can place one on carbon four. Now, notice that these two are identical. If you count from the left side, this is carbon 3. If you count from the right side, that's carbon 3 as well. So, they're identical, so we need to get rid of this one. Now, let's go down to 5 carbons. So, we need to add 2 carbons. We can add 2 carbons on carbon 2, or we can add 2 carbons on carbon 3. We can't add it to carbon 4. It's the same as adding it to carbon 2. Now, still using five carbons, we can put a methyl on carbon two and a methyl on three, or we can put a methyl on two and a methyl on four. These will be different. And I believe that's it for the five carbon chain. Now let's move on to the four carbon chain. Now we need to add three carbons. The only way we can do this is to put two carbons on carbon two and one on carbon three. So this is all I found for heptane. It looks like we have a total of eight isomers. Let's try octane, C8H18. Feel free to pause the video and draw as many constitutional isomers as you can possibly draw for this molecule. So let's begin. Let's start with eight carbons in a straight chain. Now let's go down to 7. We can put a methyl on carbon 2. We can put a methyl on carbon 3. And we can place one on carbon 4. So carbon 4 is basically the middle point. If you count from this side or this side, if you put the methyl group on the other side, both of these would be carbon 2. Both of these would be carbon-3, and carbon-4 is unique. So once we get to 4, we have to stop, because the right side will be the same as the left side. Now, let's go down to a 6-carbon chain. So now we need to add two methyl groups. We can add two methyl groups on carbon-2, or we can add two methyl groups on carbon-3. We can't add it to the right side. It will be the same as the left. Putting it here will be the same as placing it here. Now, going back to the six carbon chain, we can put one methyl on carbon two, another methyl on carbon three. We can also put a methyl on carbon two and on four. We can put one on carbon two and on five. And I think, actually, we can also do 3 and 4. That could work as well. And I believe that's it for the 6-carbon chain. I don't see anything else that we can do. Now, let's go down to a 5-carbon chain. And now we need to add three methyl groups. So we can put two on carbon uh, two, one on three. We can put two on carbon two and one on four. Or we could put two on carbon three and one on carbon two, which is the same as putting one here. 
Another thing we can do is put one carbon on carbons 2, 3, and 4. And that's about it. Now let's go down to a 4 carbon chain. So we need to add 4 carbons. We could put 2 on carbon 2 and 2 on carbon 3. And I believe that's all I could think of for octane. Now let's go over one final example. How many different constitutional isomers can you draw that has this formula, C2H6O? So here we have a single oxygen, which could be an ether or an alcohol, since we have a saturated compound. For two carbons, the most number of hydrogens that you can have is six. And if it's fully saturated, that means that there's no double bonds. It can't be a ketone or an aldehyde. So if it fits this equation, 2n plus 2, where 2 is n, and if you plug in 2, you get 6, which is the number of hydrogens, that tells you that it's a saturated alkane, but we do have a functional group. And whenever you have a saturated alkane, there are no double bonds, no rings, nothing like that. But because of the oxygen, this is probably an ether or an alcohol. So we can draw an ether like this, or we can draw an alcohol. So those are the two constitutional isomers that we can draw for this particular uh, formula.